So this is how we bring about this expected end where all things in heaven and all things on earth are united in Christ. We make disciples. We present every man perfect in Christ. And then we change all of our efforts and all of our uh, things we are doing as a church and in the church and in ministry, as we say it, to accomplish this goal, to become perfect and to present every man perfect. To grow up in him in every way and present every man as someone who has had Christ birthed in them, doing the same works he did and greater. And this is, you know, we put tons of emphasis on healing the sick, raising the dead, casting out demons, cleansing lepers. I mean, that's straight from Jesus' mouth. But you can heal the sick and not be spiritually mature. You can raise the dead and not be spiritually mature because it is the whole man that must come into perfection. You can't you can't commit adultery and then be someone who heals the sick and 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 being like, "Well, I'm a, you know, I'm a leader now because I can heal the sick." No. It's not hard to heal the sick. <laughs> it's not hard to get started healing the sick at least. Anybody anybody that's born again, it can heal the sick, can do anything. But James says any man who controls his tongue is perfect. So we need the whole man to come into perfection. We need every man's motives, hidden motives, agendas, and secret agendas to be bowed down to Jesus. We need men's character and their imaginations to be bowed down to Jesus. We need men of such courage that they will put a spear through their flesh, crucifying the flesh with its passions and desires until they are no longer living according to that nature. That's the whole point. Why we've been given this new nature? That we would live by it. That we would die to sin, as Peter says in 1 Peter 2.24. That we would die to sin, live to righteousness. That's how we bring this to pass. That's how we see you know, all creation, things in heaven and things on earth, brought back again into their original state. Die to sin, live to righteousness. That every man's will would bow to the will of the Father. And I don't mean some mystical will that you have to discern, uh, you know, what God's saying. I mean you read the word of God and do it. We have <laughs> too much written in the word of God that we're not doing already just to, you know, come up with some spooky mystical will that we don't know. No, he's made it plain to us. We're just living according to a different nature, even though we call ourselves sons. The Bible calls those people who participate in the carnal nature sons of disobedience. This is a narrow road we're on, and this is a narrow path that leads to life. Jesus said, few are they that find it. Let's find it, walk in it, and bring the nations into it and do our job laying down our lives for people we don't even know to bring them into maturity, see, to see every man presented perfect in Christ, that his kingdom would come and his will be done in Jesus' name.